Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War live stream. Hey, yo, chat, this is part three of day one, man. We're going to go at it pretty early today um, before reset, and I'm going to be jumping off before the clock hits 12 my time. Right, just want to make you all know that because you know when the clock hits 12, it's gonna be my birthday, and I think Cam wants to have that special time when it's my birthday right at the start with her. So that's why I'm starting off the live stream really early today. All right, so we are focused on getting to our 1,000 uh, vault vault key target. Excuse me. Let me check to see exactly where I'm at right now. Okay, so right now I am sitting at 495 Valkyries. I am 56 epic Valkyries. I want to say shout out to everyone that's checking in in the chat. Hey, yo, Allison, what's up? Good to see you stopping by. Hey, yo, Jay Shore, what's up? Cam was the first one in. Hey, yo, Xenomorph, what's up? And YT Flames, what's up, man? Good to see you stopping in. Eight persons in the stream, five likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, get that like button a little tickle. All right, let's see what's everyone saying here. What's everyone saying? Not going too hard this time. Just going for about 700 to uh, maybe 1,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, you're streaming late today, brother. No, I streamed earlier, Xenomorph. I streamed earlier. Hey, Janine, how you doing? Good to see you stopping by. So, as I said before, no waiting here. Let me switch over my team to the double Iron Hawk team. Uh, happy birthday when it comes, uh, says YT Flames. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So we're going to go down here. So I was actually farming, Chet, um, some verses, and I picked up, I would say, about eight, even more, right there. There you go. <laughs> I picked up about nine verses, right? I left the stream with only one Palooza in the bank, and as you can see, picked up several. So let's go right ahead. Let's start one off. Let go. So, chat, how's it been going? How's it been going? Y'all been finding a lot of verses? Um, have you been popping a lot of Paloozas? Hey, yo, Clip Bomb. What's up, sir? What's up? Are you off the J-O-B now? Ready to grind? Let me know. Let me know. 11 persons in the stream chat, and we're sitting at 6 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, finger the thumb. So yeah, Chet, it's uh, my birthday <laughs> tomorrow. So I want to get off before before the clock hits 12, man. And um, enjoy those moments with Cam. Yeah, Cam, you're going for about 500 Valkyries as well, right? Yo, there comes the Isabot in the chat. Hey, yo, Isabel, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> hey yo banana man what's cracking bro you know what i mean had a little shower T yeah took a little shower ate some food i'm feeling nice i felt good i had a burger before coming on stream too yeah i'm home and running two accounts what <laughs> are those two accounts yours or what <clears throat> Thought stream starts at reset. Yeah, I was planning on doing reset. And Cam was like, remember, we usually, um, like, uh, for both of our birthdays, right, we tend to, like, have a little bit of private celebration with me and her. Um, so I was like, yeah, man, I, I kind of forgot. So I was like, nah, I posted it actually on Discord. Right, chat? I posted it on Discord saying that, hey, we're going to be... We're going to be um, streaming a little bit earlier, right? So, um, so yeah, sorry if I, if I uh, didn't tell anyone. Hey, Chanel, how you doing? Good to see you stopping by. Marvin, you just found a new troop, the Spring Imp. Oh, nice. Marvin, good to see you stopping by. Chanel, good to see you stopping by. Happy early birthday, says Isabel. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my, my main Xbox and my alt on PC mobile. Nice. Right now, Lester is sitting at 234 
Vault Keys, two Epic Vault Keys, 105 verse 1s, 104 verse 2s, and 112 verse 3s, and 144, 144 verse 4s? Jesus! Was that all Ingot Gnomes just now? Goodness gracious, man! You wish me and Cam have a wonderful uh, upcoming birthday celebration? Yeah, it's going to be good. This is going to be a little bit chill, relaxed time, reflecting. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, the Jazz. What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, Bone Beater loves to show up. <laughs> yeah, man, he's all over the place. He's running over Kristara. He's looking for Savage Lips, that's why. Right? Right, what are we doing here? Let's just match something. Oh, come on, give me some gems. All right, let's match this. Let's kill off the rest of the team. It's going to match red. There we go. Nice. He uh, <laughs> loves to show off that boner. <laughs> ah, man, I know it. Hey, yo, chat, remember as you check in, give that like button a little tickle. Right now, we're sitting at about 14 persons watching the stream, and we only have about 8 likes. Come on, chat. What's happening? What's happening? Y'all didn't eat dinner? Or what? Chat, did anyone have dinner? What was on the What was on the menu? Right? We only have about 8 persons hitting the like button, and we have about 14 persons watching. Isabel, you're sitting at about 353 Vault keys and 35 epic vault keys still have 50 gaps. Ooh. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate it, man. Birthday, uh. Happy birthdays in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Got a little like right there. For Marvin, it's breakfast time. Oh, yeah? What you having for breakfast? What's on the menu, sir? What's on that menu? <clears throat> so after I got off stream chat, I just took some time. I was actually um, finishing up the episode of the Brilliant Idiots that I was watching. And I went on to watch the episode um, in which they were in new, their new studio. It's, it's banging. That new studio for the Brilliant Idiots looks good. Good, good. Is he asking if I'm ready for that AARP uh, membership? <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Pretty far from that. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm still too young for that membership. You know what I mean? But nothing wrong with getting getting old. I'll tell you that much. It is, it is a privilege to get old. Right? A lot of people don't get there. So, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Salute, ladies in the chat. Yeah. Shout out to all the ladies in the chat. <laughs> uh, in the words of Jay Shar, holla, ladies in the chat. <laughs> all right, let's keep it going. You'll take that membership. It has a lot of good perks. Oh, yeah? You don't say. What kind of perks? What benefits does it have? Genuinely, I always see the commercials, right, for AARP, and I'm like, uh, okay, for them old folks, you know? Uh, shout out to all the bananas in the chat. <laughs> I think there's only one banana man in the chat, Lester. Only one, bruh. Mmm. Happy early birthday, says Allison. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Chad said he's probably one of the oldest in the chat. Oh, yeah? Hmm. You don't say. All right, let's keep it going. 11 persons watching and 10 likes. So what did you guys have for dinner, Chad? I just had one of my uh, coleslaw and burger, you know, combinations, you know, burger patty, beef patty. <clears throat> 52 says Chad. 
Is Chad the oldest person in the chat? Oh, you want the, you want the what? The oxygen uh, portable machine, and the uh, the cellular service, <laughs> or the motor scooty. <laughs> oh, that, that, the scooters are fire. They're fast as hell too. Them scooters are good. They be sliding around everywhere. Because to be honest, here when they um when the cruise ships come to Alaska, right, you get to see all these old folks coming off the cruise ships, man, right? And uh, everybody got a scooter. <laughs> you want to pimp yours out with neon and shit? <laughs> hey, Isabel, it sounds like you're gonna be one of those uh one of those gangster moms, one of those grand gangster grandmas, right? Those gangster grandmas. Be kicking it with the young folk. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. So at least after I finish this Palooza, I will be um, I will be at the midway point. Right, which is good. Uh, tomorrow at reset is going to be day two, so it's solid. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna put some dope rims on it too. <laughs> wow. Burger King? No, nah, you had Burger King, the Jazz. Okay. Uh, how? Wh where? Where are you exactly, Jazz? Where are you? Are you in Europe? Are you in the U.S.? Are you in Canada? Um, because I don't know the Burger King that I've had, like in parts of this country, uh, they're not so good. Hey, Cam, how do you pronounce that chicken that Lester's having? Is it pronounced uh, Hyenese? Are you saying Chinese? I don't know if, that, if that's what you're trying to say. And it was pronounced... Uh, it was spelled wrong. I don't know what... Um, Hyenese chicken. I don't know. Is that the right pronunciation? Isabel is saying she had uh, Spanish food for, for dinner. Spanish food. Spanish food. What exactly is considered Spanish food? I don't know. <clears throat> what is Spanish food, Isabel? Right, going up against Torres. Good, good, good. Got the win. Got the win. Come on. There we go, chat. 12 persons in the stream. 10 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, finger the thumb. Oh, so you had homemade chicken quesadillas, Allison. Sounds good. Uh, you're in Brooklyn. Cool. Brooklyn. Lemon pepper wings and fries. Is that Wingstop? Or is it Buffalo Wild Wings? <clears throat> Pulled pork with white rice and beans, plantains, and flan. Mmm. Sounds good. American Deli, okay. Yeah, lemon pepper wings would be good right now. I <laughs> sounds good, man. I'm kind of jealous of you, Chanel. Eating good over there, lemon pepper wings. Good shit. Good shit. No lie. No lie. No lie. So, Chet, where have you guys been finding um verses? Right, what kingdoms are you actually uh, farming in right now? 
Are you guys still working on doing like Drag Zoom? Are you doing White Helm, Wild, Wild Plains, Bright Forest? Where's the hunt going down? For me, I've been sticking into sticking in White Helm, right? And not White Helm, but Wild Plains, Wild Plains, right? Wild Plains has been putting out, especially um. You didn't want to eat McDonald's again? Okay. <laughs> so you went for Burger King this time. Ah, oh, man. In Brooklyn, bro? Isn't there more variety? In Brooklyn? Right? There's a lot of places. Uh, Isabel is doing uh, Wild Plains and Cinemaraj. Good spots, especially for the Triple Ironhawk team. And is it concrete that it's only in... White, Wild Plains, Cinema Raj, and Drag Zoom that you can actually use the Triple Iron Hawk team. Can you use that team anywhere else? Has anyone actually tried? Uh, Chanel is saying she still needs verse twos. Oh, wow. Slowing me down here. Wow. You still need verse twos. I haven't found not one. Uh, you went where where I told you, but no luck. Damn. Um, try Bright Forest. I've been sticking to Wild Plains, and I found Verse Ones there. Um, I don't know about Verse Twos. Cam says she needs Verse Two as well. Okay. What's Lester asking here? Anyone looking for verse 60? <laughs> no such verse, bruh. First and foremost, there ain't no, su no such verse in the game. And wow, you are really obsessed with 69. Like 69 has taken a permanent lodging in your brain, right? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I remember you were saying that, Cam, that you found four verse ones in less than 30 minutes. Hey, Chet, should I grab this ice, dude? I might as well. Farming right now. 69 is family friendly. <laughs> You're right. Are you getting birthday cake and what flavor? I'll have to see. Let's see if Cam gets me a birthday cake. Let's see. Oh, you keep getting uh, verse uh, ones and threes back to back. Wow. And no verse twos. All right, how many vol keys we have? 517. So I actually picked up, uh, how much did I pick up? That was a lot, right, Chet? Right? I think I picked up like 20, 21, 22. Damn. Not bad. 22. Right? And I'm sitting at 59 epic vol keys. 20, 129 curse runes and 1,253 Dragon Knight. Yes, but I wanted Burger King. <laughs> oh, man. There's Jolly Bees in Brooklyn, but you wanted Burger King. Is, is that correct? <laughs> man. Your, your lips are sealed. Uh, okay. Ah, man. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's do another Palooza. Uh, might as well. Let's get into it. We're not going to stop. 517. That's a good amount. Like, the verses, um, they did some stuff that time. Palooza definitely produced, man. Ooh, look at that Dragonite chat. That Dragonite is sitting pretty. Ooh. 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 Yeah, definitely have to let persons know where you're finding your verse twos, Chet. Um, let Chanel know. She's actually hunting for verse twos. Yeah, it seems like Tyrion is in a, is in a coma again. <laughs> it's a strong possibility, man. He's not here. He's out of it. Yeah, when you're at the top, you tend to get uh, bored. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
That's why you gotta keep hungry, man. You gotta keep hungry. And clearly the shark is too well fed. Am I right, Chet? The shark is too well fed, man. He's gotten uh gotten slow, right? Big time. The shark is slow, Chet. He can't keep up with us young folks. Right? Tummy holding him down. <laughs> All right, let's match this down so I can kill this sucker. Yeah, very good. Haha, <laughs> nah, he's awake? Really? You think so? <laughs> I think he's asleep. I just told on you. <laughs> clip, clip this and send it to him. Clip this and send it to him. Oh. <laughs> uh, Clip it and send it to him. Yeah, there, yeah. The shark is uh, is slouchy now, man. He's too well fed, right? Munching. <laughs> oh, you just texted him. Okay. <laughs> man, he's too well fed, man. He's you know, ain't he too rich, right? No, I'm answering your question. There are other places to eat, but I wanted Burger King. Okay. Good. Uh, uh, there's Lester dropping some blood in the stream. <laughs> Lester, that's very creepy, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yo, that's creepy as hell. What kind of blood are you dropping in the stream? You don't know if we have Jollibee, says the Jazz. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, what is up with the Valkyries, this Palooza? I'm not seeing nothing. I'm getting a lot of garbage loot. The Jazz, did you post up your numbers already for Valkyries, Gnomes? Post it up, let me see. Let's see what you're working with, man. It's Pedro's blood. <laughs> uh, I don't think Isabel is concerned with Pedro's blood anymore. She's more worried worried about Jean Wick. The Wick. That's that's who she's concerned about. Let go. Chat, we're sitting at about 14 persons in the stream. And we have 10 likes, if you guys haven't done so as yet. If you haven't done so as of yet, finger the thumb. Come on, make it happen. It's okay, Pedro can bleed out. Good God. Savage. Savage. So savage. Uh, Chanel says she doesn't feel like she's getting as much goodies as last vault. As last vault event, mm, it depends. It's 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 all RNG. You know, it's it's all RNG. Wow, no loyalty to Pedro whatsoever. Yeah, man, she. Yeah, when she moves on, she moves on, bro. She's like, deuce, out of here. Get out of my house with your whoop ass, <laughs> with your loser ass. Get out of my house. Kick that boy to the curb. Right, right, Chet? Isabel song that Beyonce song, right? She's like, ha, ha to the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box, to the left. <laughs> oh, man. Kick that boy out. Can you walk and talk at the same time, Pedro? <laughs> Get your ass out of here. <laughs> man. She got a new man. Moving on. Wick is in the house. Curbside at the <laughs> at the ER on the left. At least you're gracious enough to drop drop him at the ER. Yeah, I mean, didn't allow him to die out there. The Jazz sitting at about 90 vault keys and nine epic vault keys. Keep that grind coming in. 
the Jazz. Keep it going. At least see if you can pull out somewhere between like 250 to 500. You know what I mean? Somewhere between there. <laughs> Lester called me Izzy Wiki. <laughs> wow. What is that? A play on words? A wicked Isabel? <laughs> That's what he tried to say? Lester, why are you calling Isabel wicked, bro? Come on. Don't be like that. I don't know who was Pedro. It's the actor. The actor, uh, Pedro. He plays a... Uh, he played uh, Oberyn Martell, right? I imagine so. <laughs> wow. So yeah, he played Oberyn Martell in... In... What's the name? Uh, Game of Thrones. And now he's playing Din Djarin in The Mandalorian. Right? And he played... Uh, he played a role in Narco. Narcos, Narcos as well. Yeah, so his name was Javier Pena, right? Or Pena. And yeah, and now he's playing Joel in The Last of Us. You haven't seen either of those? Damn, really? You haven't seen Narcos? Come on. Hey, yo, Chad. Hey, uh, Chad, you gotta go watch that, bro. Narcos is hot shit. Narcos is fire, man. I, I, it was so disappointing when they canceled that on Netflix. I thought that was one of the biggest, the worst cancellations ever on Netflix. Narcos was good, man. I loved it. I wanted them to tell even more, like, more stories. Like, there's still so many drug, like, kingpins out there in the world. Like, drug lords, right? I really wanted them to keep on going with that, man. Damn. Maybe move from out of the Latin world, right? Move out of Latin America and move over to possibly telling some stories in Asia. Because there's some big drug lords in Asia. Especially in the past. Huge. You don't watch TV much? I, I, what do you mean? Like, not even streaming services? You definitely watch The Witcher. Right? Don't tell me you haven't watched The Witcher, Chad. You must have played the video games, but you never watched the, the show? Season 1 of The Witcher was good. Season 2 was, eh, okay. It was alright. It could have been better, but it was alright. Um, the origin story of The Witcher was dookie. A turd, right? Solid shit stain. Right, but um, the first season was, was good. First season was good. Since Henry Cavill's is, is out, I'm out, yeah. Dab, dab, dab. Hey, yo, chat. 13 persons watching the stream, and we have caught up with the amount of likes. 13 persons hit the like button as well. Yeah, I've seen The Witcher, and I have the, the Witcher 3. That's Wild Hunt, right? The Witcher Wild Hunt. They don't respect the source material at all. Yeah, Lester, that's one of the biggest problems, man. Like, some of these networks need to understand that. Like, if you disrespect the source material and you go, like, so far off base with these shows, nobody's going to care about that shit, right? They might get a, a viewership for a couple hours or so, but once people realize and get the word out that you're not respecting the source material, everybody's going to tune out man never gonna go back and watch that stuff people are gonna hate it people are gonna hate it um and that's exactly what happened with the witcher like 
Like, I don't know how. I don't know. That that's that series chat the um the original story for The Witcher was it a Netflix original? It was made by Netflix, right? Because if it was, man, damn, damn, they messed up. They did so well with Sandman, and then to the left of that, they screwed it with The Witcher, like totally screwed. Yeah, they were. They, it was made by Netflix, and they messed up that bad. Like, good God! Come on, man. So they they did The Witcher, um, one and two, right? Season one, season two, decent. Other original series like um, like Sandman, they did so well, and then they <coughs> they screwed up on um. On the origin story, which was so easy, it was so it was hand delivered. Just do it the same as in the, as in the the the, the stories, man. It was um. I won't even watch the third season anymore. I might check it out, but I w I won't go back to watch. And you see the thing with with streaming services, right? The thing with streaming services is the comeback. It's it's like streaming services. To be honest, they're like dope dealers. <laughs> Right? They're like dope dealers, right? They're like dope dealers, chat. Um, the first time the dope dealer sends sell something to the fiends, it's uh, that's not where the money is. The money is in the comeback. Right? When they have to come back and get it. You know what I mean? You're addicted to this thing. You gotta come back and get it again, get it again, get it again, and get it again. Got them hooked. Right? Um... With 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 these shows, when they screw up the the seasons, and then persons are like, "Nah, this does not respect the source material. It's complete trash." Like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna come back. So, and that's where the money is. And the the less people keep coming back to shows, it's more likely that they're gonna move on and go to somebody else. It's the same thing that happened to the people in the streets, right? The fiends keep on coming back to the dealers. And um, if the dealer's product is not good, they move on to another dealer. And then to another dealer. Right? Until they get until they get the good stuff. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, yo, chat. That's Streets 101 for you. <laughs> oh, man. That's that dealing in the Streets 101. Just to let you all know. <laughs> and... Ah, speaking of dealers, do you watch Snowfall? Yeah, I started watching Snowfall in the early episodes and kind of jumped off, um, never got back into it. But overall, I've heard that the show has been a success, right? Never actually got back into it, though. Um, just something about the story just didn't feel as, you know, didn't grab me as much for some reason. I don't remember exactly, but for some reason it didn't grab me. Yeah, poor Henry Cavill first, getting dumped as Superman, then <laughs> no more Witcher. Um, probably has other projects in mind, Isabel. Because uh, an actor like him, I'm sure that he has a number of different roles coming in, right, from here and there. So, you know, it might be that he's just, there's something else that he wants to focus on. Chat, has Henry Cavill ever won, um, has he ever won a Oscar or, yeah, has he ever won an Oscar or a Golden Globe or something, something like that? The DCEU dying as well. True, true. Um, to be honest, you know what would save them? You know what would save the DCEU? Uh... The Snyderverse. If they if they did the Snyderverse, it would be amazing. Right? No, I meant no without the laughing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, let me grab my tribute right here, chat, real quick. Da 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 da.
You have a hard time taking Henry Cavill serious. Um, why? Why? I don't think he's a awful actor. I don't think he's awful. It's just that he was fun in the Tudors. Uh, I never got into the Tudors, to be honest. Right now, chat, we're sitting at about 531 Epic Vault Keys and uh, 61 Epic Vault Keys, 132 Cursed Runes, and 1,258 Dragon Knight. Two is now your lowest verse. Wow, you're picking up a lot of verse ones. That's nice. Uh, wow. Uh, so him being Superman for you was like hell no. Um, why? Can you can you tell me why? Why is it that you found him not to be like the Superman like pick or type? I don't know. I think it was like the the look. I think it was okay. It wasn't the best best, but it was okay. Come on. All right, let's go. Another vault, uh, Palooza. Mm, to be fair, he was not built like Superman during uh, Tudors, but he had the look. Okay. Interesting. I never watched that show though. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. So you grew up on Christopher Reeves. Uh, interesting. Christopher Reeves will always be your Superman. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was okay as Superman. To be honest, the one, some of the best shows by by uh, by like in the DC EU was um, was was Man of Steel. So. What did you think of his, his uh, portrayal of Superman in Man of Steel, Isabel? Did you like it? Lester, did you like it? Um, Chanel, did you like it, Man of Steel? You're rocking your new PS5 controller? Yeah, Cam. <laughs> hey, yo, Chad, Cam got me a new controller. She picked it up um, when she was coming home. I was like, ooh, trying to be slick, are we? <laughs> yeah, Cam, thanks a lot for the new controller. You liked him in in um in the new uh, in uh, Man of Steel. Yeah, so uh, so he was also in um, Mon uh, Count of Monte Cristo. Cool. Ah uh, man, I, I cast the wrong one. Damn, AI just knows how to match four plus gem matches. Yeah, this is awesome, huh? Yeah, so no more running uh, cursor all over the screen. It's working good now. The Hogwarts Legacy controller? Yeah, but it's all sold out, right? Chanel says she actually... Um... Yeah, it wasn't... I retract that, sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm asking. The Man of Steel, what did you think of Henry? You didn't like him in Man of Steel? He was decent in Man of Steel. The Hogwarts controller is very common in the Philippines. No one's buying it. Hmm. Why aren't persons buying them? I thought they would sell out. Like, they sold out over here like crazy. Is Harry Potter that big in the Philippines? Chat, we're sitting at about 15 persons watching the stream. And we have about 13 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, give that like button a little tickle. Mm. Ooh, persons are jumping in. Appreciate it. 
If you guys are just checking in and if you're not subscribed to the channel, I want to say definitely hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers right now. We're sitting at about 863 subscribers. Let's see if we can push that to a thousand. We got 18 persons in the stream with 13 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, finger the thumb. Hey, Chanel wants to find out if you guys know of a kingdom giving up some verse twos. So if you guys find any verse twos, wherever you're farming at, post it in the chat. Chanel wants to find out. 19 persons in the, in the stream right now. So, Chad, um, uh, Man of Steel was better than Superman Returns. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel so too. I, I really like Man of Steel. Really, really. <laughs> like, but I, I genuinely feel that the best DC EU film is the the Justice League, the Snyderverse. The Snyderverse, the Snyder cut of um Justice League that's available on HBO, HBO Max. Bomb shit, bro. They should have released that movie just like that in the theaters but the goddamn studios and the, the whoever it was that chopped and spliced and changed up a lot of things in the in the movie screwed it over big time that was gonna be hot shit okay so janine just found uh two verse twos in shantang is that correct shantang so Chanel, try out Shenteng and stay there for some time. Do at least 10 runs in Shenteng before moving on. Did Chad go to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> Possibly. And Lester is looking for verse twos as well. <laughs> Can't spell. Nah, it happens. So Reeves is the best is the best Superman. The other Reeves from the black and white shows. Okay. Yeah, I really like the Man of Steel um films though. But for me, the Snyderverse was the best one. The way they portrayed uh, Steppenwolf was uh, nice. Yeah, only 12 likes. 17 persons in the stream. Or is my YouTube tripping? <laughs> Man of Steel Man of Steel was way too dark and uh serious for Superman. Um I don't know, it depends on what version of Superman you're talking about, right? Let's match this. Now, let's match this one down. Come on, man. Give me some something to smack this fool. Taking up the hell out of my Paloozas. Goodbye. Doctor Strange is your uh, is your favorite DC not not DC but uh, is your favorite character from the MCU? Why Strange though? Give me that gnome. I'll definitely appreciate him more. <laughs> hey, I just want him to pass. I just want him to pass, man. They're taking up my time. But why, Isabel? Why is Doctor Strange your favorite character? Is it the... Uh, is it the the bravado? The, the, the swag that he has? What is it? Cam says, hit that like button. Hit it. Get that like button a little tickle, chat. Come on. Come on. Make it happen. Bang. Lego. 
click through this real fast. Oh, you grew up reading comics, so most definitely, yes, it's the swag. So Strange got that pretty boy swag. Pretty boy swag. <laughs> Girls scream my name because I'm pretty boy swag. <laughs> Is he like strange men? Bless you. <laughs> Oh, you like the cape, huh? The cape is dope. <laughs> the cape is alright. The cape has a mind of its own. Right? It can do whatever it wants to do. Sometimes it doesn't want to go with you. It's like, nah, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, the cape has attitude. <laughs> Big time. Big time attitude. So Chad, what do you, what do you guys think are which DC film do you guys think is the best one? All right? I know Marvel has a lot of good films, right? But which DC EU film do you guys think is the best? They don't even have somewhat of a proper universe still. It's just uh, just all over the place and very sporadic. But which one would you guys think is the best, man? Which would you pick? Let go, let go, let go. The Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. I think I would I would agree with that one. Yeah, Strange definitely has good comebacks. But I think when it comes down to to uh like snappy, very witty witty lines, um Tony Stark is the man. Yeah, uh Christine Bale made the phrase I am Batman. I am Batman. <laughs> I am Batman. <laughs> yeah, he was good. He was good. Yeah, Iron Man is the best when it comes down to lines. See, uh, like he's he's so witty. I'm Banana Man. <laughs> uh. And Lester, right as you right as you say that, you pull up the two bananas like this. <laughs> I'm Banana Man. <laughs> Yeah, but there are a number of different factors that actually made um, the supporting cast in the Dark Knight trilogy were amazing, right? And they were who was the who were who were the director? Who was the director of the uh, the Dark Knight trilogy? Was it the same director for each film? <laughs> Favorite weapon is the the banana rang. <laughs> Oh man, uh, Christopher Nolan. Uh yeah, him and um, him and Michael Bay, right? Love to blow shit up, right? Because I think in this, in um, in Dark Knight, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, is it Dark Knight? Dark Knight, right? Um, that's the second installation, the one with Joker. Like they blow up so much shit in that film, like so much stuff. Let's keep blowing things up, man. In the first part, they blew up a lot of shit. In the second part, they blew up a lot of shit. And in the third part, they went haywire. Blew shit up. They blew up an entire stadium. <laughs> in the third one. Yeah, they, they love to blow shit up, bro. Like, yo, let's we, let's let's uh let's have this truck run through a ramp on the highway and let's just 
blow the, 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 the trailer up and let it flip over in the middle of the street like the wildest stuff you've ever seen. Right? Especially Michael Bay. Michael Bay, he made the Transformers movies, right? All the Transformers flicks. And guy just loves to blow shit up, bro. Like Transformers is gonna have multiple scenes. Yeah, right? If you if you haven't seen the trailers, multiple scenes in which people are running, slow motion. And shit is just getting blown up be behind them. <laughs> right? Just like, running, running, blowing up shit, blowing up shit. Like, I don't know why. They probably should check out their childhood. Yeah, all about the highway chases too. Yeah, that's him. High flying stuff, a lot of bikes, um, right? Evening bad boys, yeah. <laughs> Uh So all Nolan films actually have a uh, time as a theme? Hmm. Did did Christopher Nolan make was he the director for Tenant? Or not? Was, that's it? Ooh. That was quick. All right, let's grab this. See where we at? Come on. Ah. 551. Prestige is one of my favorite uh, Nolan films. Oh, yeah? I don't know. I don't think I've... Have I watched that film? Hmm. So he made Tenant as well. Okay. Okay. All right, chat. Give me a quick second. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hey, yo, chat. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so let's get back to it. Back to the grind, baby. How's everyone doing? Y'all doing good? Prestige is brilliant. I don't remember watching that movie, to be honest. Probably need to try it out. Um, Where can I watch, chat? Where can I watch Prestige? A pirate bay. 
Nah, bro, chill out. Nah, bro. I want a proper service. A proper service. <laughs> uh, Chad, you're about to head to bed soon? No problem. Big guy, go for it, man. Go for it. Get some rest. Rest is essential. We have day two tomorrow. You know what I mean? Day two tomorrow. Gonna be going for the the full number, right? I'm gonna try and grind some keys off stream in the morning. And by the time I go back live again, hopefully I'll be closer to my 1,000 vault key target, man. I'm gonna be blowing it up. 13 persons in the stream. 13 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, give that like button a little tickle. So, Chad, have I asked you guys what is your favorite vampire movie? All-time favorite. What say you? And I don't want to hear the same vampire movies over and over again. Tell me what is your honest-to-God to answer here. Your favorite vampire movie. And it doesn't matter whether or not people think it's good. It's whether or not you think it's good. Right? Let me know. Let's keep things going. Favorite vampire movie. Something that you can go back and watch over and over and over again. To be honest, right? I'm pretty big. I'm a pretty big fan of the, the Twilight movies. Vampire suck is funny. <laughs> that's actually uh, Nosferatu. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a classic, though. Right, Chad? That's a classic. When did that movie come out, Chad? I love the Twilight series. Yeah, um, to be honest, it actually gave a, a fresh look at vampires. Yes, persons might not like the, the actors, right? They don't like Edward. They don't like um, Kristen Stewart. Um... Oh, so that's a comedy, um, a comedy film. Nosferatu came out in the 1920s. Damn. So that's the uh, the original Dracula. Original Dracula. When did that film come out? The original Dracula film. Allison, can you tell me? Cause I'm I'm I love watching vampire anything <laughs> to be honest. Doesn't matter vampires, I'm down. Tell you, down man. I love vampires, bro. Something about them. Something about vampires just just feels cool. I still need to watch a vampire movie called Let the Right One In. Hmm. Dracula, dead and loving it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Chanel says she loves vampire stuff too. Oh, yeah? So, um, that Dracula movie, the original one, came out in 1931. Vampire Diaries, hell yeah! Vampire in Brooklyn. I didn't watch that one, the jazz. I think that's on Netflix, right? Vampire in Brooklyn. The newest one called... Uh, the Invitation as well. The Invitation. Mm, let me check it out. See if I can uh, bring it up while I'm going through this. The Invitation. Yeah, I see that one. Um, I saw the trailer for that one, Lester. It's uh, Nicolas Cage. Not yeah, Nicholas Cage, right? Yeah, Lost the Lost Boys is a classic. <laughs> Lost Boys is a classic.
Oh, Daybreakers. Daybreakers is solid. Because it shows a world, right? I think Daybreaker shows a world in which vampires have basically conquered the entire humankind. And um, humans are more like... They're more like just hunted and harvested, right? Put into farms to um, to feed the vampire population. Right, that movie's good. That movie is real good. Because to be honest, right... I, I like vampire movies, but I prefer the more, you know, sophisticated vampires. The monstrous looking vampires are cool. I'll watch those movies, but I won't go back over and over and over again to watch the um the more monstrous, you know, animalistic type of vampires. I like the sophisticated, rich aristocrat, you know what I mean, are you know, some some vampires are in politics or or world conquering vampires like I like those type of vampires. That's why I was originally attracted to um to Twilight because it gives you that kind of story, right? If you can think of it, if vampires were real, if vampires were real, wouldn't they be very wealthy? If vampires were we were were real, wouldn't they be um like in powerful positions? They wouldn't they be like you know what I mean? Like politicians, wouldn't they be rich business people, right? Have, you know, fancy, like they would have all those things. Hey, yo, D13, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? The Lost Boys is my other one, too. Oh, yeah. Lost Boys is good. Queen of the Damned, very nice music. Yes. Very seductive, man. That's what you expect vampires to be like. Like, attractive and... You know, like irresistible, like, like when they when you look at them, like the vampire should speak to your soul, like give me your blood, <laughs> and you're like willingly, you're like oh take it, <laughs> like come on take it, right? Hey yo, Chad, take care, man. Rest up, have a good one. What the hell is happening here? I thought this fight was done. They, they wouldn't be politicians because they could uh they have to walk in the well it depends on what version of vampires you're talking about byzantium byzantium is i don't remember that one have i watched that film might have This movie came out in 2012, right? Oh, it's on Pluto. Hmm. Have I watched this before? Yeah, I think I might have. Yeah, they have to rule the world because they have generational wealth, precisely. And I'm like, damn, man, why... That's the type of vampires that I, I like. That's the type of vampires that I like. But whenever people, like, whenever I see vampire movies and they're just like, they're just bloodsuckers moving from place to place, uh, eating people, I'll, I'll watch them, but I won't be, like, extremely fascinated. That's why the world of Twilight was like, like that's why it, it, I think it captivated people, right? Because it, they somewhat created a world of vampires. Within that, how many shows, how many movies are there? There's five Twilight movies, right? Right, Chad? Am I right? Am I right, Cam? How many Twilight films are there? Five? So it's Twilight. Then the second one is what? New Moon? Then Eclipse? Then Breaking Dawn Part 1? Breaking Dawn Part 2? Yeah, so it's five of them. Five of those movies. And overall, they showed you a world in which there were different covens, there were um, you know, families of vampires, different abilities for vampires, which is very possible. Because if you check the earlier stories of like uh, vampires, they show you that some of them might have certain abilities. Mm. 
Mm. Ravenous was a good one. Uh, where can I watch that film? I don't remember it. Oh, also Blood, the last vampire anime. Love it. Mm. I have one on my list, but I actually checked my um, my Google TV, and I couldn't watch that film. It was available, but it wasn't giving me an option to, to watch it. I watch Breaking Down Part 1 all the time. <laughs> when I want to fall asleep, never fails. <laughs> Quit it, man. Quit it. Well, I'll check for that film D13. Maybe I can find. Maybe I can find it. 13 persons in the chat. 13 persons hit the like button if you guys haven't done so as yet. Give that like button a little tickle. So, what are some other notable vampire movies, chat? Ooh, getting a lot of curse runes. A lot. Come on, let's keep it going. Interview with the Vampires, classic. Classic. But um, the one thing I hate about that particular film, it's the one thing. The, the Vampires were very... They were, like, as I said before, they were very, uh, not as affluent as I'd prefer them to be. They were very sophisticated. That film is top-notch. Amazing. But I really want to see those vampires that have, like, a lot of control, a lot of wealth. You know? Did you see the vampire? That's the vampire anime I'm talking about, Isabel. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I... Added it to my watch list, but I can't see the service that it's, that it's available on. Can't see the service. It's not available on any services that I have. All right, let's keep things going. Let's keep it going. When you watched it, Isabel, did you watch it on a particular service or just normalized TV? You're going to send me a movie and shows link to watch everything on? Appreciate it. Thank you. Is that the vampire you want to hunt, <laughs> Lester? The double D one? Double Ds. Helsing is a great uh, vampire anime. What service is it, is it available on uh, D13? Is it on Crunchyroll, Netflix? Where? Let's keep it going. Dun, dun, dun. Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Vampire every day. Vampire every day, bro. Without a doubt. As I said before in other streams, right? We talked about vampires to some extent. Bro, once I hit 21, I would have been a vampire. If vampires were real, 21, vampire. Full on vamp. Right? Full on vampire. And since that time, I would be, like, studying the world, like, biting people and gaining knowledge and learning and completely, like, running shit <laughs> by this age. Not gonna lie. I would have been running shit by this age. 21, turn a vampire. Like, I would at least have killed at least, like, how many people? Let me see 
if I turned a vampire by 21, I would have munched on at least, say, uh, anywhere from 1,000 to like 5,000 people already. Uh, big time serial killer. <laughs> you sent it to me? Okay, good. Thank you. It's totally free and great quality. Hmm. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Excuse me. Uh, man, I had to burp. All right, what we got here? 572 vault keys and 64 epic vault keys. The numbers are looking good, chat. What y'all think? My number's looking good? Good, good? I would have killed... I would have bitten 69 people? Nah, bro, way more than that. Anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000. I'm... I'm a, Remember, I'm hungry out here. Y'all y'all see me on stream, right? I'm hungry on stream. You don't think if I'm a vampire, I'm going to be ravenous, bro? I'm ripping people to shreds. What are you talking about? Ung, 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 ung. The hell? Ung. People getting bit left, right, and center. Ung, ung. Get out of here. Ung. <laughs> bit, bro. What? Don't play with me. Vampire crisp? Nah, bro. Munch on you. Underworld films are good. Underworld films are top tier. <laughs> Not me, I'm murdering whole towns. <laughs> if you were a vampire, you would only bite on hot chicks. <laughs> Dracula Untold was good. Yes, that was good stuff. That was good stuff. I'm I'm hoping that they make at least two more vampire um, movies from that particular uh, series. All right, Dracula Untold. I want to see a part two, and I want to see a part three, and that's it. I don't want to see more than three of them because part one was solid. Vlad the Impaler, and that was a was a good uh, characterization of um, of Vlad. Quality over quantity. Hell yeah. Hot virgin blood. Oh my god. We're gonna be finding virgins in this day and age, bro. <laughs> oh, let's start. We're gonna be finding virgins in this day and age, bro. Are you gonna buy me biting kids, man? Come on. Tripping. So you already opened up your um your eggs D13. And you got uh, Emerald Drin and another Toposort. Wow. Keep going, man. We still have two more days left to the Vault event. So keep going. Yeah, I'm taking quantity, says Isabel. Everybody getting bit. The same thing for me. I'm munching. I'm, right? I'm, I'm getting... I'm, get, I'm munching. I'm be strong as hell. Right? I'm probably the strongest vampire in the world. Turn a vampire at 21, bruh? Can you imagine your hormones at 21? Bruh, I'd be hungry, like, ooh, uh, here in these streets. Biting, bruh. Biting. They're going to change my name from Chris to Biter, bruh. Like, hung, hung, ha, ha, hung. People getting bit. Yeah, everybody getting a bite, man. Everybody. Are you inviting no girls with no silicones, bro? <laughs> That's why you biting, biting uh, Lester? Going for the titties, bro? Relax. <laughs> uh, man, those victims are going to be why, like, the victims for Lester are going to be like, what kind of freaky ass vampire is this? What kind of freaky ass? He didn't even go for the neck. He went right for the tits. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Lester's off the chain every day. Yeah, biting the boobs like, good God. Freaky ass vampire. <laughs> like, get out of here. Hey, yo, force flow. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's the dealio, force flow? How's the Valky farming coming along, bro?
There was tit biting an interview with a vampire, but yeah, that's back in the back of the back. Like in those days, nobody, nobody had silicone, bro. In these days, you want to be a vampire and want to go out biting tits? It's gonna be awful for you, bro. A really bad time. You're gonna be a sick vampire, bro. You're gonna be a very sick vampire. Uh, fourth floor, you're still only sitting at five epic Valkyries. Wow. What teams are you using for your farming? What are your teams, fourth floor? Your leveling classes, right? So you might be using your Rowan team or maybe the Moon Mage team. Um, or do you have your Iron Hawks? Is it that you're not picking up uh, versus or what? Are you just not farming enough? The double Iron Hawk team. Wow. You're not getting much epic Valkyries? I know that maybe your first couple runs, you might get bad RNG and not pick up um, adequate amount of keys. But I think if you keep on going, it, it will start turning around. It can't be like that the entire vault event. It has to change. So just keep on going. Oh, you need verse twos. Mm. Well, the verses definitely can be a problem. So you got to... Gotta switch it around. <laughs> the Jazz, what you laughing at, bro? Sure you're laughing at Lester, right? Zahia biting silicone titties. <laughs> uh, out here biting silicone melons, bro. Lester, you cannot be biting silicones out here. In this day and age, Chanel says we all need verse twos. Um, not me. I need verse ones. If you see verse ones, tell me where they are. I'll go over there. Tomorrow, not now, not now. Right now, it's all about Paloozas. Palooza, 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 you loser. <laughs> hey, yo, chat, we're sitting at about 17 persons watching the stream. 15 likes, if you guys haven't done so as yet. Give that like button a little tickle, baby. Finger the thumb. Fingery. Fingery. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Don't be scared. So, yeah, Chad, since we were talking about vampires, right? If vampires were real, right? And you you somehow became a vampire and didn't die from getting bit, right? Um, what would be some of the things that would be like your goals as a vampire? What would you do? What would what would be your your goals? Right? <clears throat> Suncrest was throwing verse ones at you, yeah? Just got a verse one in Shentang. Okay. I'm gonna check them out. I'm gonna check them out. Let's see if they got all the goodies. All the goodies. <laughs> uh, imagine biting the booty and popping the BBL. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Uh, that's that. Uh, you got that new injection blood in your mouth, huh? <laughs> Nasty. Lester, you're going to be out here in the Philippines biting them BBL booties, bro? <laughs> uh, they're going to be calling Lester the BBL booty biter. <laughs> Uh, the BBLBB. <laughs> You're going to be biting the celebrity honks. Oh, man. <laughs> Isabel going after John Wick first. Like, Keanu Reeves first on the list. Who else is going to be on the list? Thor? Uh, they're going to be on the list? All the guys that are that are uh, good looking in um, the Avengers movies, bit, right? You're turning them into your harem, right, Isabel? <laughs> Crazy. Hey, Cam, how you doing? Good. Want to say hi to the chat? Say a quick hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you good? What you doing? Give me a second, chat. Let me see what Cam said. Cool. 
cool. All right, chat, I'm back. Let's get to it. Are you going to be biting Loki as well? <laughs> You're not going to front Keanu Reeves then, Pedro. I know you ain't going to leave your boy out. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You dropped him off at the curb and you went and picked up his poor ass. <laughs> Yeah, Jazz. Hey, let me tell you, I'm definitely biting people if I was tw 21, bro. Can you imagine? You're, 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 you're 21, your hormones are kicking, and now you got the vampire thirst in your blood? Good God. You're biting everything that moves. Okay, okay, fine. I can't not bite Pedro. <laughs> yeah, um, to be honest, right, I might bite a lot of people, like... When I turn into a vampire, but um, I ain't turning nobody into a vampire right away. Nah, it's gonna be probably be like a couple thousand years before I before I turn anyone, right? When I start out as a vampire, I'm biting everybody, especially the rich and knowledgeable people. So if you out here in these streets and you are you are you are you a brain surgeon. Or you a heart surgeon or some shit like that. You know what I mean? You a rocket scientist. I'm biting you, bro. I'm taking all the blood. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm taking all the knowledge. I want all the information out of your brain. Give me everything. Give me. <laughs> Give me. Right? Uh, you, you, I'm sure I'm biting a couple presidents. For sure. I'm biting a couple presidents. I want all that information about the country, bro. Uh, uh, if you're a chief of the... Uh, uh, joint chief of staff, right? Uh, military guys know all the secrets. Uh, you getting bit, right? You uh, a director of the CIA or some shit. Mm, you getting bit. Mm hmm. You yep. biting you. <laughs> you getting bit for sure. I, I want to know all the inside information, right? All the guys with all the dealio, all the information, all the deets. You getting bit first, bro. All you smart people out there, be afraid of me. I'm coming. Hung. Um, um, um. Right? Biting all of y'all. Y'all are my first victims. <laughs> I'm going for that first, chat. Then I'm going to create, like, wealth. Unimaginable wealth. Right? All you rich folks got all those uh, vaults with all that money in there. You got all that gold. All those rich Saudi princes. Them, I'm, they getting bit first, bro. I swear, they're on the top of my list. They're on the top of my list. The best thing about vampires, you ain't got to worry about transportation and shit. You know what I mean? Go swimming, like in Twilight, right? I want to go to uh, Spain. I go swimming, bro. Go swimming. Swim for a couple days. I'll be over there. You know, bite those warmongers. Yeah, man, I'm biting everybody in power. The first three on your list are going to be your personal vampire snacks. <laughs> are you going to keep them around? Uh, your delicacies, right? Man, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, chat, we're talking about some sadistic shit right here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these these uh, these ones are going to be special for me. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be keeping these. Uh, yep, in my bedroom. <laughs> Oh my god. They're not escaping, huh? Like, mm, I'm not gonna drain these ones. I'm gonna. I'm gonna savor these. These are. Uh, uh, these are delicacies. Mm. <laughs> these I'm gonna keep around. Yeah, you know I mean, extra little. Little nibbles. <laughs> little nibbles every night. Right? A little bite here, a little bite there. You know what I mean? It might last somewhere in between like 10, 15 years. When they start getting too old, I'm a <laughs> devour them, right? And move on, right? <laughs> move on to the next hottie. Oh, man. Well, female vampires bite you when you're... <laughs> what, the... what the hell, Lester?
Keanu Reeves is used to it from the Dracula movie? <laughs> really? You don't say. Yeah, but I, I kind of agree with that. Like, if you had, um, if you had that ability, I know people would keep like a harem, right? Uh, a vampire here, uh, a little snack here, a little snack there. Bite one ever so often. What is up? <laughs> hey, yo, Lester, you something else. Pedro needs a BPL. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> but yeah, what other things, chat, other than taking up a harem, what other practical things would you guys do, man? Like, come on, talk really now. Not just, not just the sexual fantasies. Give me some real things that you would do as a vampire. Right? For, for me, one of the things that I would do, I would definitely have things set up like in the twilight. Right? <laughs> what are you saying? Enters, enters chat, hears Chris, talk, Chris talking about uh, nibbling on people, silences, silently walks back out of the door. Man, come on. Come back in. Come back in. Come on in, shark. Oh, reset. Reset. There we go. The game has reset. What's on the adventure board? Dookie. All right, what's over here? Ooh, magic deeds are there for VIP 6. You're going to build that cattle bank of uh, of humans. Good God. <laughs> hey, yo, Lester, man. You're scaring Tyrion here. You're scaring Tyrion. Nibbling on people. Right. Reset, reset. Let's check our keys. Running out the door. Come on, man. We're talking about vampire stories here. Come on. Tell us. Tyrion, if you were a vampire, at what age would you like to get turned? Right? If you got turned into a vampire, what age would you prefer? For me, it would be 21. Like, you know what I mean? Fresh hormones been kicking i scared Tyrion array away <laughs> man it happens it happens after all after all uh that i want a, a vampire castle in europe now nah, i'm if <laughs> I've never been so insulted. <laughs> okay, so when you become a vampire, um, what would you like? What age would you like to be turned? You want to be a vampire since you were sixteen. Twenty-six would be good. I think that's a nice age as well. Twenty-one, yeah, twenty-one to twenty-six. That's cool. That's cool. Twenty-one, twenty-six. That's cool. <clears throat> But 15, 15, it would probably be a problem. 15 would be a problem, man. You'd, be, you'd probably be, um, it'd be too easy to notice you. Isabel, minors can't be vamps. They can, they can be vampires. It's just that they, um, they, they don't have much control, right? <laughs> Not if, yeah. So when you become a vampire. <clears throat> Kristen Dunst was a vamp. Um, she was fun. <laughs> uh, oh man, let me stretch. Ooh, man. Yeah, you will always be 15, though. That would suck. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that young. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want to be that young. I want to be like in my 20s. My 20s, perfection, perfection, the best time ever. 
It's against vampire law to change um, kids, right? Into vampires. I am the darkness. I am the night. I am the Count Tyrion Shark. <laughs> hey, yo, chat. We're sitting at about 15 persons watching the stream. And we have about 16 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, give that like button a little tickle. Hey, chat, give me one second. In the meantime, think of some practical things that you guys would do when you become a vampire. At uh, 20, 21, that age, right? What would you guys do? Practical things. Like real life shit that you can't do now that you would do. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Hey, yo, chat, it's ya boy. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Grab some snackaroos, some little fruit snacks. Put these right here. And let's pop another palooza. Let go. Going on a trip. Favorite rocket ship. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I was choked on my own saliva. What was this? Alright, wrong thing. Start back over. Alright, there we go. Double Iron Hawk. Let's go pop another Palooza check. So, did you guys think up um, <clears throat> what y'all would do practically if you became uh, if you became a vampire in your 20s? Any ideas? The medieval days was gangster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again with the if, so when you become a vampire, come on, tell me. Stop focusing on the if. Tell me what you would do. You're saying you're a 21 when you became a vampire? Hey, yo, Cookie Man 420, what's up, what's up? How you doing, man? Good to see you stopping by. Definitely would be a daywalker. Daywalkers are rare, though, bro. How would you achieve it? Like, in a lot of vampire lore, it's not a hypothetical to me. So, yeah, tell me, explain, what would you do as... You're you're uh you're dwelling on semantics here. Right? What would you do? So you're gonna get your uh your human capital bank and then your castle. What's next? Oh, 
But yeah, Lester, what are you talking about? If you want to be a day a day walker, you have to drink the blood of an Alaskan. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> what the hell? What? Come on, man. I'm trying to be real here. I want to hear what your opinions are. What would you guys really do? I told you what I would do, right? I would go after the smartest and the wealthiest and the most powerful. Um, so most likely the people who sit in religious positions, people who sit in political positions, people who sit in big business positions, and I would devour them. They're the main ones. I want the knowledge, I want the money, and I want the power. Those are the things I want. Once I get those, then I'm going to go into like um, like studying and becoming stronger. That's what I would do. Two free purple deeds or epic ball key. Come on. You know what to do. I would break into a blood bank. Nah, man. For me? Blood bank? Nah, bro. I'm with Lester on this one, bro. The blood gotta be fresh. Fresh blood right from the source, bro. As I said before, everybody rich, everybody powerful, and everybody that is smart, like well educated, all PhDs or multiple PhDs, PhDs, they're getting munched by me, I tell you that much. Yeah, the blood gotta be pumping. I'm biting them. Hung. <laughs> they're getting bit. Yeah. I mean, veins. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Then study on how to touch the multiverse. Hmm. Oh, that sounds like some focus right there, Isabel. I get you. I'm on that wavelength too. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm on that wavelength, man. That's what I'm thinking. I just keep living my life. Nah, first I want the money and the power, bro. I want the knowledge too. I'm not gonna be immortal out here and just be kicking it, bro. Doing shit. Be doing shit, bro. Doing shit. And the closest people to me, I'm gonna turn them. Right, whoever is closest to me, like my mom, my brother, my dad, like those people are going to get turned into vampires. Right? The closest people to me. I'm not going to allow my, my closest relatives to pass away. Right? Those are some main things to do. As a vampire, I'm going to have my family around, right? Like Cam. Cam is going to be the first person I turn into a vampire. <laughs> Cam, you ready to get bit? You go get bit first. Hell yeah, she's the first person. Oh, your son is going to get turned into a vampire, but the rest of your family, nope. <laughs> nah, my mom, my dad, my brothers, vampires. All of them, vampires. I would bite them, not that stuff. You're, you're going too far. <laughs> Nah, theory, you're going too far. I'm talking about just the bite. What are you talking about sucking? Good God. That is actually not required for uh, for transforming persons into vampires. The sucking only, re only happens for feeding. Do they get a choice? Nah. No choices. Why, yeah? What? Why wouldn't? Why? Why? There's no reason for a why, Cam. What do you mean, why? You, you're becoming a vampire. No questions asked. Vampire. Right? 
I'm not going to be out here as a vampire living forever and you're going to be what? Nah, you're going to be a vampire right away. Immediately. Are you replying to Lester? Okay. She would nag me for the rest of the time? That, that's fine. I'll take it. As long as we're together, I'm down. Turn her into a vamp. Right away. Live for eternity with your uh, your loved ones resenting you? I think they'll resent me. They want to be vampires too. They love vampire shit. <laughs> they love vampire stuff, bro. They love this stuff. I already know. They want to be vampires. But forever, ever, ever, ever. Take care, Allison. Sleep well. Have a good one. You won't turn your wife? You want fresh meat? <laughs> My God. Ah, oh, man. You gotta have someone to spend eternity with, bro. Eternity is a long time to be a long time to be wrong, though. Well. If they don't want to be vampires after I turn them, uh, there's another route to go. Yeah, man. It's not like vampires can't die, you know. You can die if you want to. So, <laughs> it's their choice. It's their choice. It's easy. If you don't want to be a vampire, there's another route. Vampires are just... They have eternal life. They, they're not immortal. Remember that. They, they, that. That's the thing that they tend to talk about in vampire films, right? Vampires being immortal. No, a vampire's not immortal. Immortal means you cannot be killed, right? They have everlasting life. They keep on living as opposed to um, being, not able to, uh, being not able to die. An immortal being can never be killed. All right, that's the word immortal actually means. You know, vampires are not actually immortal. They're, they have everlasting life. Uh, name one vampire story where the vampire stayed with the person they love for more than a few centuries. Um, it all depends. Like some vampire stories end before you can get like two centuries out of them. I mean, but probably there are some. I don't know. Usually, though, a lot of vampires don't get to transform the person that they love into a vampire, right? They um, they die before. <laughs> what the hell? Imagine turning your wife into a vampire, and when you divorce, you'll be on child support forever. <laughs> uh, well, if, she, if that happens, bro, you're fine. You got the money. Vamp. There's no everlasting love when it comes down to vampires. They eventually get sick of each other. Um, are you talking about all stories here? Every single story that there is about vampires, they never stay together. Nah, Tyrion, my vampire snack's not allowed to leave me. Exactly. Become a vampire does not instantly make you rich. That's not how it works. Precisely. That's what I said. It would take time. Right? So, as opposed to everyone that was like, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, bite this celebrity and that celebrity. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna build knowledge. I'm gonna um, acquire, like, power. Acquire wealth. That's the focus when I become a vampire. Not just immediately getting it. I'm going to pursue it. Right? You have the time, so you have the time to pursue it.
Yeah, you can you can you can get money as a vampire if you wanted to. It's not a problem. You have you you live forever. So you can literally take their shit. So Isabel says needs first and then money second. <laughs> like yeah, all you hotties seeing y'all on my TV fighting. Um. Yeah, all the cuties first, huh? First up. I'm still in my broke vamp vampire years. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Yeah, chat, but being a vampire be so cool. So cool. And I'm sorry, I would be the cliche type of vampire. I'd be pulling up in all black, bro. All black. Like I'm blade. Right? Long ass jacket, coat and everything. Looking real devilish. Swear. Devilish, man. Look like I'm out here to murk people, bro. <laughs> See me pull up at the nightclubs, looking evil as hell. Swear, people gonna fear me, right? Uh, you're gonna gain, you're gonna gain your riches uh, as a vampire, Tyrion, in the next fifty to one hundred years. Okay, <laughs> keep working, bro. Collecting vamp government assistance. <laughs> oh my god. You want to wear the Catwoman suit from Batman? <laughs> Batman Returns. Okay. Yeah. Hey, wasn't that Halle Berry rocking that? Yeah, that was some fire shit. Yeah, that was some fire shit right there. That was Halle Berry, right? My Palooza ended? Yes, sir. Oh, it was Michelle Pfeiffer. That was Nicole Kidman. Oh, who was it? <laughs> who was it? I don't know. Who was it? I don't remember. Y'all tell me. Yeah, it was Lizzo. <laughs> Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, yo, what's Lizard? Yo, what's Lizard? Oh, man, you confused, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, Lester, you off the chain, bro. Yo, somebody need to put Lester down. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's see how many vol keys we're sitting on. Uh, Banana Man off the chain. It was Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay. You're just too tired to think? <laughs> Didn't Nicole Kidman play uh, Poison Ivy in one of the films? One of the Batman films. Right, Chad? Mmm. Nice. Hugs, Tyrion. <laughs> uh, 608 Vault Keys and 70 Epic Vault Keys. Yes, sir. Oh, that was Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. Okay. Uma Thurman. Right now, we have Curse Rune sitting at 141. And Dragonite sitting at 1,292. Yes, sir. Yeah, Uma Thurman Lester. I heard it. I heard it. 
17 persons watching the stream right now. We're sitting at about 17 likes. If you guys haven't done so as yet, Chad, come on. No, it was Lizzo. <laughs> hey, yo, leave Lizzo alone, Lester. Leave Lizzo alone. All right, let's... Uh, how many Paloozas do we have left? Palooza, Palooza 5. Let's go into another run. Let go. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Yeah, but me dressing as a vampire, man. All black every day. Black Tom Ford suits. Like, the craziest... Maybe Lizzo is Lester's type? Maybe. Yeah, she actually was... Haven't you watched that episode yet, uh, Isabel? You said she plays a, she played a hut? <laughs> Come on, the hell? Yeah, I didn't like her role. I didn't like her... Um... I didn't like her part in that particular episode. Hmm. What? What are you saying, Cookie Man? You're you've uh, you're avoiding a discussion about Moon Age team being faster than the Iron Hawk team. What? Where where have you seen this? Who said so? Who said this? Who? Mana surge. Mana surge. All right, come and run, run away, you jackass! Hurry up and run away! I don't want no problems. Slowing me down, man! Look at this sucker! Goodbye! My God! My guild. Interesting. They tested it and saw how many fights per minute was the uh, Moon Mage team getting. I don't know. That, that cannot be accurate. Because the Moon Mage team has to get an explosion. So it has to touch the board. And it's not consistent. So I wouldn't agree with that assessment. The Ironhawk teams do not touch the board. Especially the Triple Hawk team. So what did they say, Cookie Man? He got seven fights in one minute with the Moon Mage team? And he was averaging six fights, six matches per minute. I've, um, I can try it to see. Cam says, I don't get why people are saying there's a faster team than Ironhawk. <clears throat> So persons have been saying that in your chat, Cam, as well? In the Suns family? If they have, I don't know. How would that be possible? Because if you explode your Leprechaun, right? You explode Leprechaun, you have to wait for the gems to cascade. In that time alone, the Triple Iron Hawk team would kill out the enemies. So. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, anyone know if you're able to get uh, Foxfire King with Chaos Shards currently? Um, was there an issue getting the Foxfire King? I don't know if an issue with that. I'm not saying a word to him. I see no point in hopping into that discussion. Yeah, uh, leave that alone. Uh, I don't see... There's no way that he can. It has to touch the board. Right there is a slowdown. Oh, maybe because of what Genki showed me about the Ironhawk teams. What about the Ironhawk teams, uh, Isabel? Can you can you enlighten me? Um... Is there something that I'm not noticing? Hmm. Now it's just the metals causing a 0 0.01 second delay. A 0 0.1 second delay. Hmm interesting so you're saying if you have Nisha's attached right it's gonna be loading in the Nisha animation on the troop in which it gives you more magic Yeah, the Anu animation. I know that. The Anu, right? If you have an Anu, but I've never seen the Nisha um, occur. I see it with Anus. I don't see it with Nisha's. So she was running the World Lore Event Medals with the Ironhawk team. Um, okay, um, I might need to test this out. Might need to test it out. Tyrion is saying here he saw the um, the triple explode into Imperial Hero and Weapon. Um, that's my team. If you're talking about the triple explode from the Cinemarage troops into the Imperial Imperial Jewel weapon with a half mana start hero with a class that has like a leaf storm or something like that, that's my team. But that team, I don't think it's faster than the Ironhawk teams. Because a lot of things happen... Um, The, de the delay is less than 0 0.1 second. Okay. I'm just guessing, says Isabel. Okay. It's interesting. I I'll check it out. I'll actually test it. I'm going to test it. Yeah, the Iron Hawks are definitely faster. I wouldn't see those um, being even remotely as close. But the thing is, I usually watch the troops when they're loading up. Um, because I watch animations, right? Yeah, nothing is faster than the Iron Hawks. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm looking right now. I have triple Nisha's on. And I'm not seeing the magic load in on the troop. At least at the start of battle. I'm not seeing that. I know it for the Anu for sure. But not for the Nisha's.
it's the annual that loads. Okay. All right, I'm going to lock in right now, chat, to go as fast as I can. Come on, man. What was that? So, uh, Cookie Man, you're running uh, Moon Mage and the Tome of Wizardry, Leprechaun, and the King Avalon, Sorcerer class. Okay. You, have you leveled Doomsayer already to 100? Why not use Doomsayer? Let's rewatch the stream. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do it when I'm done. But I'll test it out just to make sure. But I don't think the Moon Mage team can even be remotely close. Banging. I want to make sure I go through these real fast. Come on. Mini boss fight. Cam. Hey, Cam. Come here, please. Pretty please with a cherry on top. No, not me. My guild used that team, saying it's faster than the Ironhawk team. Oh, wow. Home, how may I help you? Girl, come here. Give me one minute. Okay. The only time something... Uh, Plus five minutes, come on. Man, my fingers are starting to feel tired, chat. <laughs> fingers are starting to feel tired. Come on, let's get it. Not getting fatigued right now. Got to blow through these fights. I need to put these down for me. I watch in my ring. Here we go. Thank you. Appreciate My last Palooza? Yes. Damn. God damn. Ooh la la. How you doing? Let's say hello to the chat. <laughs> I see it. So how's everyone feeling in the chat, man? How y'all feeling, chat? Let me know. Y'all feeling good? Do you feel good about your uh, your grind so far? Feel you'll be getting close to your target? Or uh, it's not working out like you thought? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too close. Sometimes I sit like this, you know? Back up. I like this. Hell no, nah, I can't see you. <laughs> you disappear. That's so rude. No, it's true. You become a ghoul. <laughs> like, uh, become a ghost. Isabel is saying you're good so far. Nice. Pretty happy myself, says D13. Anybody else feeling good about their farming? I'm feeling good. I am... I'm above the halfway point. I'm sitting at like 600 and something. You know what I mean? Big stuff. And my Epic Valkyries is past that as well. Should get well over 500 keys. That's nice. That is very good. 
Hey, yo, chat. We're sitting at about 17 persons watching the stream. 16 persons watching the stream and 16 likes. Mm, if you guys, smells good. Mm. If you guys haven't done so as yet, chat, go right ahead. Give that like button a little tickle. Let go, let go, let go. Tyrion says, meh. Tyrion, what happened, bruh? You lost your mojo? Uh, what's wrong, shark? <laughs> Cam's asking what's wrong. I think I should do one more. One more palooza. I have time. Hey, chat, that was my last palooza, man. Gotta dip out. Gotta spend some time with the wifey. You know how it is. Right, right now, chat, we're sitting at about 633. 633 um, vault keys and 71 epic vault keys. Curse runes are at 143. And my Dragonite is 1,200. And 99, not bad. Some good stuff, right? Yup, yup, yup. Hey, chat, I want to say thanks to everyone that stopped by and um, held it down with me on the stream. Isabel, thanks for stopping by. Ayo, hey, Tyrion, thanks for stopping by as well. D13, thanks for stopping by. Uh, Cam, for show, for show, for show. My special person. Uh, Cookie Man 420, thanks for stopping by. Ayo, hey, Lester, Banana Man, thanks for stopping by, yo. And uh, who else was here? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Chanel, thanks for stopping by as well. The Jazz, the jazz you. Thanks for stopping by, man. Everyone, Allison, thanks for stopping by. Uh, Chad, thanks for stopping by as well. Ayo, YT Flames, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. If you guys know of anyone, right, that's looking for good PvP teams, good Guild Wars teams, yeah, feel good. Need more gaps, though. Yeah, just keep up the grind, man. You can't give up on it, right? If you know of anyone that's looking for good PvP teams, good Explore teams, good Guild Wars teams, tell them to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.